Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Snowtopia where in the previous episode we were working on our very first ski resort that was on Mount Alpha and we got basically to the end of the tutorial and then put a couple of extra slopes in, some connected zones and overall had some good fun on that one but I think the time has come to move on to a different area and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six areas to choose from. Now I'm going to not go to like the really hard ones because quite frankly yeah I don't think I'm uh, <laughs> anywhere in any shape or form uh, experienced enough to do that. So we've got things like Frozen Peak, Crater Lake and the White Canyon here. And you can see they have different like um, obstacle densities, slope diversities, etc. I do I do very much just want to check out Frozen Peak because it has the same number of access points and access to ski zones is also quite difficult. So it means I guess... Um, Although obstacle density, the Crater Lake might be a bit more interesting, mightn't it? Uh, let's see, let's see what, I'll load onto Frozen Peak, and if there's nothing interesting that I can see, then we'll move on to Crater Lake. So let's just see what we've got going here. We have our, our lodge here, and we have, okay, like a big... A big sort of slope to the top here and then another area down the bottom. That's good because we can connect those two up. And we have a third in this corner where, as you can see, oh, that goes up quite a bit actually. That's considerable up to the top here. Wow, imagine getting one right up here and then skiing all the way down. That would be really good actually. Whereas into this one, that presents some challenge because you'll have to weave your way down this area. And then over to this one, that's a bit... That's a bit tame, isn't it, really? It's a bit tame. There's nothing wrong with that, but quite frankly, I do think that starting over here may be the way forward. Now, a couple of things I've learned from the previous uh, playthrough is that basically there's no point in trying to plan ahead because technology will outpace anything that you make and then you're best off just deleting it and starting again. So I'll put in a couple of slopes, probably over this side, quite easy ones and maybe a couple of extreme ones and once we've spent a lot of time researching because sadly research does not carry over I will then build some of the bigger slopes like up here that's the rough plan let's go ahead and see if any of that actually works so over to our builders lodge here I don't know why that's disappearing there when I go into that is it just because I've got that's very that's very strange Hmm. Anyway, so we're going to place in the usual stuff. So I want a research lab um, actually as far back as possible. So I'll place a builder's lodge in here. I will place, hang on, there we go. I'll place two people on that because we've got six volunteers. And just behind, I'll place a snow groomer like so. And then hopefully I can place a research lab in there. Yes, all of these are out of the way. So yes, they're going to have a negative negative appeal there you go but nobody's going to be around there f to even care so that is my uh that is my logic anyway and let's go ahead and immediately go for some i don't think i really need a small shelter it's gonna have to be lifts it's all to do with the lifts basically so let's just set up a couple of bits in here once we've got the snow groomer we'll assign probably uh, one person to that and then i'll assign one person over to the research lab in terms of our lifts we want the one with the most capacity which is going to be this two person fixed grip chairlift which will go from this side up to there's not too bad actually but i have a feeling that'll be quite an aggressive couple of slopes but i think we can get th two or three off that but i want at least one easy, one average, and then difficult or very difficult. Either or for the last the last two. There is two people now working in research because, as I said, research, I think, is absolutely key in the game. Uh, let's go up the top here and we'll have a look at our slopes. We are going to use a narrow slope, and for this one, we can just go total extreme, which is just right down like that, and then you exit. That's an extreme slope. Is there any other option for that? I think the other side would actually be even more extreme. And indeed it is. So let's go ahead and basically put it in. There you go. Uh, we'll assign two people to that. And then I will go ahead and build another narrow, or maybe normal actually, normal size um, one here. And oh, good grief, that's even more, <laughs> that's really extreme as well. Uh, right, I'll have to be quite careful on how I approach this. We could probably bring it back down the mountain this way. Yeah, that's probably the way to do it. Although, obviously, some of these curves are going to be quite extreme. 
Is this... I don't know if this is the right place for this. Um, this is going to be... I mean, we could do that. Is that is that something you would do? Have it that steep and that sharp? That just seems wrong, having it like that. It doesn't seem to be the way you would have it in real life. Hmm. Okay. If we're going to do something like that, it seems best to use a large one. Oh, good look at that. Um, it's just where it starts. There you go. That's better. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. Mm. Corner. Oh, that's okay. That's better. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, and we're working our way around the back of the mountain here. This is all a bit of blue. Do I want to go with between blue and green? I think I do. That's a bit too. That's a bit too steep. See, I'm very tempted to just follow around this mountain like this, all the way around the back, and then into there. I like that. That sits quite well with me. So we're going to do that. Naturally, we will need a... Uh, we don't need a builder's. We need a ski patrol lodge, which I'll place in there. And we'll probably have to have maybe a high altitude food kiosk, which we'll place in there. Alright, so that's the min. Um, as soon as this is built, I expect a lot of people to be rushing over there to use it. This is probably going to be rated as, I would imagine, green, although the first part of it is blue, so I do need a fully green, easy slope. That is now in, and people are going to, yep, as we may expect, they have charged straight towards the ski lift and are heading up. Um, we are going to go for things like all of the gantry stuff, all of the ski tour increases the lot. So I'll assign a couple of people to each one of these, just to yeah, get that going. So that is set up as green. What is that? The uh, homogeneity is predominantly green and then a bit of blue there. Attendance is quite high as well. So people really like that. This one, not so much because we don't have that type of skier. We have someone who does like red. So we'll see if we can make a red slope, but not black. Because that would be too aggressive for them. Like that. Too aggressive. Yeah, and then a sharp turn. And then, see, then it goes to that. So you can't... There's very little middle ground, isn't there? Is there? What about on this side? That's just, that's just a sheer drop. That's not a... That's not... No. Nah. <laughs> That's not a thing to ski off. That's something to... Well, put it this way. You can ski it once. <laughs> you can ski it once and after that, not so much. Um... Okay, be a bit careful here then. Let's go... And then you've got all that. The problem with that is green, and then... I mean, you could then sort of swirl it around like that. Would that be classed as red? It probably would. I reckon I could get a bit more out of it if I tried, though. I'm trying to just follow these. And then whoosh right down there. Okay, that's probably going to be okay, I think, <laughs> he says. Um, oh, I haven't got maintenance. Uh, okay. Mechanics workshop. Build the mechanics workshop there. Because that thing is about a snap in half. <laughs> to assign some people to, uh, to that one. To the snow groomer. And I need to get that maintenance on the go. Because otherwise, it's going to break. Um, let's increase movement speed. Repair. Let's just get all the research. As I said, this is a very... 
it's again, I think you do need to get the research sooner rather than later. There we are. That's working now, I think. A couple of skiers waiting for a last stance. Right, one in this corner. That's understandable, and I think not unreasonable that we have a snow patrol lodge in that corner. Because it's around here. So yeah, we're going to do that as well. Because people are starting to uh, fall over, so I really don't want that. I think I'm researching for... I'm researching pretty much everything in this list. We can unlock the next part of this. Um, I think. Uh, I want to get rid of that soup bar and the shelter to go for long distance walkie talkies. Get all of that statistical uh, positives in there. There we go. And that's now in. What do we have? What is that set as? That is red. Yep, that's good. And people are skiing down that and are very happy about that. Right. Excellent. So we have... We don't have an average slope, which is which is a problem. I will attempt to perhaps get... Can I research that? Yes. Expanded or optimised. Increased length and gradient. Hmm... We did try optimize last time. We've also got expanded. I do think optimized is the way forward. Get the very best out of the structures. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. Extra work speed for the skiers and a 16-person gondola. Yep, let's try that. And then we can obviously go up to the mountains and stuff. So we do need a some sort of blue ski slope. I think what we'll do then is have the four person fixed grip lift and it's going to go, uh, it's too long, I can only get to there. That might not be too bad, I think that's going to be mainly green though, let me pause it and just check. Um, so from there for example, there's a bit of blue. Oh, you know what? No, we could probably get a nice blue slope off this. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm sort of... Uh, no. I'm hesitant to do that because... I can build under there. If I weave around... Like that... This comes down and connects into there, and then I can do a similar one on the left-hand side. From, say, there. And again, this will be predominantly blue. But it's following the mountainside, curving back, like that. That's a harsh corner. But I'm wanting it to end up over there, you see. Um, I'll unpause it while I crack on building. Might as well. So just keeping it in this blue area. Following the contours of the mountain as best as I can. And... Down to there. Yep. Excellent. That's why I moved that over to there. Right. Happy. Let's get that turned on. And... As before... Cheeky Ski Patrol Lodge. Cheeky... Food Kiosk. It's all cheeky. Don't know why, just is. Safety there. And we've got more profiles now. And reputation has gone up to two stars. And there we are. But obviously there'll be a lot more needs that uh, people are wanting taken care of now. Frequency of use, energy and heat. Yeah, all of that. Going for the 16-person gondola. I'm going to go for the small shelter in the soup bar. And then I'll probably just rush, rush straight up for the large shelter. Probably. But we'll see. Mm. You know what? Get rid of all that. Gear reducer. That increases the... Uh, 
decreases the amount of speed on it because we've got a problem with some of the capacity. And we need to increase that capacity and that's probably the way of doing it. Alright, so we have a couple of problem queues. We were aware of that. That was going to be the case. Let's check out our safety. Safety seems to be actually pretty good. Appeal is also pretty good. All of our buildings around here, like research and that, we've just sort of out the way so nobody really sees them. Um, do we need to assign more people to this? No, I don't think we do. And these have got... Oh, let's go for more people in the safety hut. Very much concerned that if we have a problem there, we're not going to be able to arrest it. <laughs> Apart from build like loads and loads of the the safety buildings, which we've seen. There we go. So we have five slopes, one easy, two average, one difficult, and one very difficult. Can I get a another slope in here? I think I probably can. Let's have uh, probably a not gonna have a normal slope, but I think we can fit a narrow one in here. No, sadly not. I thought we would have been able to curve round there, but apparently that is not the case. Oh, we can have one here though. And I want this to be a lovely serene one that goes pretty much all the way around the back here. Can I make it green? Yeah. And what I've found is, if you tilt the camera this way, you can very often get angles that you may not have expected to get. It comes around. It's into blue, though. I don't particularly want to be heading into sort of blue territory. Can I? So I need to want red territory like that. Um, a little bit of blue. And then this is all green, you see? And there's another nice easy slope, but it's quite long. And I love the way it goes all the way past there. That's really nice. I'm happy with that. The issue is that obviously you're going to get more people queuing up here, but what else can I do about it? I'm getting the research. I'm getting everything I possibly can for that. GPS assistance there. Go for that one. Don't want work schedule yet. Wear and tear reduction, max ski lifts extra chairlift speed. Yeah, all of that. We want the lot. <laughs> Synchronised boarding. It says extra wear and tear. And reduction volunteers. Hmm. Unless that increases wear and tear, but I guess the... It says minus one max volunteers. Perhaps it does the same with just the one. Who knows? Anyway, see all the skiers on here. Pause it. Nervous newbies, sport club kids, new fallen snow, stu snow struck lovers. So they're all got some variation there. That's what it looks like from here. That's a lovely view. That. As you're coming up here, you can look down and see all these people skiing down and having the time of their life. <laughs> That's good. And this one's now working. And is seeing some use. By, obviously, the new fallen snow. This is, as you can see, 95% <laughs> perceived difficulty is green. Sadly, it's uh, one of those ones that... It's, it's not really fail-safe, it's fail-deadly. I mean, you'll end up where you're supposed to end up at this b bit here, but I don't think you'll—I don't think all of you will end up there. Uh, some of you'll be over here and down in here and minced into that bit. And yeah, that's that's a fairly hard cliff. Where is this? I think it's here, isn't it? The blue bit. So if there's going to be an accident. It's going to occur at this location. But uh, those two managed it successfully, and the other ones seem to be managing it as well. Q is building up though. Research will be done shortly for the gear reducer. And that will increase our speed. And increase wear and tear. I care not <laughs> about the wear and tear. Um, it is a bit of a concern, but... I'd rather have... That research. Um, 
chairlift ski tours and gondolas. Gear reducer on. Gear reducer on. Increase the speed, increase the throughput. Good, good, good. I don't particularly want to build much more. Except these snowstruck lovers are very happy, which is good. Energy and security is all fine. Heat's okay. And challenges going up as well. 75% approval. Over 300 people in here. People are queuing up on that, and they don't seem. There doesn't seem to be a big problem now. On that. But I think. Works your speed on chairlifts. Yeah. Get all these bonuses. Why would we not? And we've now got the 16 person gondola. So, I'm finally going to go off the Super Baron's <laughs> shelter. I've been sort of putting that off for a while. So, the 16 person gondola is a max gradient of 14. It's all too steep. Oh no, it did reach up there. I saw that. Yep, you saw that too, hopefully. And uh, click. Right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh, right down there. Slalom right round and get into there. <gasps> I think that is possible as well. I was sort of joking. And then I realised that actually that's probably possible. Um, It's for the... It's not for the novice, put it that way. <laughs> Can it fit in? Will it go in? Um, I don't think it will. Because we've got... You have to go up. There. Can we, like, just... Can we just sort of ski? Can we cheese it a little bit? No, it's not going to happen. That's a shame. Unless I can go... Oh, hang on. That might be a different one. Down here, just come like there, and then no, can we not go up there? Uphill, it says again. I think it's possible, it's probably doable if you're careful. I think it's doable. Mm. See, I'm being very careful where to put this. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we're wanting. And then it gets extreme. It gets all the extreme all the time. That's not that's not fitting through there, is it, surely? Is this the smallest size? That might not be the smallest one, actually. Narrow? It's not! We can go for a narrow one. Right. Let's see if I can get through there. Yes! We're through. And then down here. And then in there. Extreme! Right. Um, high altitude food kiosk. Ski patrol lodge. Almost certainly another ski patrol lodge will have to go down there. But a signing, a signing, and a signing. Right. Happy with that. Um, light vehicles, leather seats, friction sensors. I mean, just get the lot. Just get the lot. How many people are going over to that? Quite a few. Quite a few. All right, yeah. So we have. We need one more. We need a difficult slope, which will be in red. I think we can manage it. Just keep weaving like that. Make sure that we get the right way. Mm. 
Don't want any really difficult bits. Or super difficult bits. I think some of it was just just necessary. Yeah, you're gonna have some bits that are really quite bad. Oh no. Manage that. What I want to do is go underneath. Like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Love it when a plan comes together like that. Yeah, so that is now in red. Let's see how many people flock towards that. <gasps> Pretty much the entire resort. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, service training. And then over to a large shelter. We will place a soup bar in, and we'll place it here. I think, yes, waiting for snow groomers. We need a snow groomer hanger. Um, well, I can place it up the top here, because we're not going to have... I don't think we're going to have another... But well, we're certainly going to not have a slope going that way. So a snow groomer hanger up here, I think, is more than acceptable. Let's put that there and let's see if anyone goes to that. Yeah, attendance is flying up. Right, okay. And we've got skiers waiting for assistance, it says. Let's have a quick look because we haven't really checked out the safety aspect of this. Yeah, okay. Lots of accidents happening there. Whoa, you can tell they've just <laughs> everyone's just jumped on that. There we are. Okay. Um, builders, not builders lodge, a uh, ski patrol lodge, which can go there. Nice. Maybe some over there, but we'll see. And how we're doing for mechanics? Mechanics is we've only got one mechanics workshop, so I think up here. We'll have a mechanics workshop, and again, it's just going to be on the back of that. It doesn't look ideal, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it really matters too much. But you can see that, basically, with very little effort, we've successfully got a fairly decent, I think, anywhere. <laughs> sure you let me know if not. A fairly decent ski resort. I mean, we've already got eight slopes in. Two of every kind. We've got all these lifts. Uh, might as well, yeah, gear reducer, turn it on. Although we can probably work for more people. Yeah, we've got decent safety. We've got all of these different types of slopes. Oh, good grief, look at this person here. They're brave. Bold adventurers. Advanced. Let's see what they're like when they're coming down here. <laughs> and there they are. Uh, not that one. Oh, wait. They've just gone on the face. Okay. <laughs> they're still they're still going. Um. Yeah. Okay. I expected something like that to happen. Let's follow them down. Yeah. And see where they go from here. I wonder if they stop and go right. Left or right. They're gonna go they're gonna go left and that's how they get down to the bottom. They're probably then gonna go straight onto that and then back up. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable I guess. Alright, good, good, good. Maybe another maybe a ski patrol lodge around here is necessary. But we've only got four people waiting for assistance, so don't think we need many more people. Research is good. We're going for leather seats, which increases the comfort. Uh, that we can unlock as well. And get more research. You can see we've not maxed out research, but we're getting loads of research just because we've focused on that. And I think that is a, 
I think that is the way forward. All right, so not too bad at all. We have eight slopes in total, three lifts. That is a two-person fixed grip chairlift, a four-person fixed grip chairlift, and a 16-person gondola. And several people going face first there. We'll keep an eye on the security issue. I think we would probably benefit from at least one more ski patrol lodge. But I'm also aware that we may have to have things like shelters and such in at some point. Um, I don't know what we can do there. To be fair, that would be a really exciting one, wouldn't it? Coming from there, and then you score down, 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 down to there. Fairly extreme. That's why I don't particularly want to build stuff on the back of it. But I do want to have a small shelter, and as we won't be building back here because it's uphill, small shelter will... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Because I want to eventually go up that mountain. Would I, would I even be able to go up that mountain? Gradient is too steep. I think we would eventually, but not with the technology that we have. So, a small shelter I'll place... Mm. I want to place it somewhere where they can use it without having to delete it, because there's nothing going to be going that way. And we've got over 700 people. There are, there they are, there, there, there is there 700 people there. A lot of people. So I'm volunteer to that resort, uh, to that shelter. That should hopefully get some attendance there. See, people are going towards this high altitude food kiosk that has been used. Shelter, not so much, but you never know. Was that some person that was face down just slid into that? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is new fallen snow. That's probably how I, I would ski, quite frankly. <laughs> right. New fallen snow, and they've decided the way to get down, even though the, their satisfaction is 90, because apparently they love dragging their face across this snow here. Their skiing ability is beginner. They've just gone on a red course. I mean, I know there's no other way down. It's either extreme difficulty or, like, not so extreme. But surely there's a middle ground we can go for here. Mm. I might have to... I might have to put another slope in. I mean, what are they doing up here in the first place? They shouldn't be up here. <laughs> This is advanced, advanced skiing. So, right. What I'll do, I'll leave it there. It's a very good start. I'm very happy with that. Next episode, we'll take a look at perhaps putting in another slope or two that's probably in the blue range so they can get down within that blue range and obviously keep researching, get more technology, which allow us to go ideally up to there or up to there would be good because then you can have a slope going right round and all the way around the back and yeah it'll be quite nice and quite uh, quite a nice ski all the way down there although it'll take about half a century to get there either way we are going to leave it there for now that's been a bit of snow top yeah let us know in the comments what you think we should do and uh, as always we will go from there thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>